The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything, and since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, May no one ever eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He did not permit anyone to carry anything through the temple area. Then he taught them, saying, Is it not written, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples, but you have made it a den of thieves. The chief priests and the scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. It is first Friday. We honor the sacred heart of Jesus. Pakibati din ang good morning ang ating mga katabi. Good morning. And also to our online parishioners, your prayers are with us today. Pumasok na po tayo sa buwan ng Hunyo. We have already begun the month of June. And traditionally, if the month of May is a Marian month, June is considered as the month of the Sacred Heart. So by Monday, we will begin another list. Kaya magbibigay tayo ulit ng panibagong listahan. I'll be focusing on the 12 promises of the Sacred Heart. We'll try to dig deeper into the devotion to the Sacred Heart. But for now, let us try to explore what our readings are trying to tell us. Mahinit po ang ulo ni Jesus sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon. Kung nakinig po tayo at nabasa po natin ang ebanghelyo natin, siya po'y gutom. Guru hindi pa nag-breakfast. At siya po ay nakakita ng isang igos, the fig tree. He saw a fig tree and then he, it was not bearing fruit. There was no fruit at all. So he cursed it. And now he goes to the temple area and then also began to destroy everything when he entered the temple. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. He was, in a way, a little violent today. So, ano kaya ang dahilan kung bakit medyo mainit ang ulo ni Jesus sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon? For context, we look at Mark chapter 11. The context of Mark chapter 11 is 
the, the triumphant entry to Jerusalem. A little before our gospel today, Jesus entered the city with a lot of fanfare. People were singing Hosanna to the son of David. And go, he goes straight. No, Jesus goes straight to the temple. But it was night already. There was nothing there anymore. So he decided to go back to Bethany. And then he slept there, perhaps, in the house of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus in Bethany. And in the morning, they decided to go back to the temple. And that's our story today. This is, you know, out of character for Jesus. Jesus is supposed to be meek and mild, gentle and compassionate. But why is he, in our gospel today, rather aggressive? He curses the fig tree because it does not have fruit and he is hungry. He goes to the temple area and overturns everything. And he shouted at people, do not turn the house of my father into, do you have turned the house of my father into a marketplace? You should not do this. Um, so what could be happening here in our gospel? Binabasa po natin madalas ito kapag kapanahon ng uh, Holy Week o ng Kwaresma. Because this is already within the Holy Week. Na triumphant entry to Jerusalem and then overturning the tables and the temples. And of course, three days after or four, he would be crucified. Biblical scholars are saying that this is really more in sync with the character of Jesus because of his passion for his father. He would not allow anyone or anything to desecrate his father's house. It was really more of a, an aggression because of a defense to his father. And also, his aggression is symbolic, especially with regard to the fig tree that he cursed. He was teaching his disciples about faith. He was already preparing his disciples for what eventually will happen to him in the next few days. The fig tree, according to biblical scholars, refers to the Pharisees, to the religious leaders. They were the leaders of the people, but they were not bearing fruit. They were fruitless. They were supposed to be the teachers of the people about God, about the law of Moses, about faith, but they were the first ones to be barren in terms of showing their faith and being consistent in their faith and actions. So the fig tree refers to the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and the religious leaders. And Jesus somehow wanted his disciples to know that he expects fruit from them. Ang pananampalataya ay kailangang magbunga. At yung nabungaran niya sa templo, ganun din ang nakita ni Jesus. They were supposed to make the temple really a sacred place for worship, for honoring God. But they have turned it into a marketplace. Pinagkakitaan ng mga punong pari, ng mga pariseyo, ng mga pinuno ng bayan, ang tahanan ng kanyang ama. Instead of worshiping God or giving God the true worship, they were just giving a lot of benefits to themselves. And so their religiosity was really more of money-making rather than authentic worship of God. And Jesus could not let that go. He could not just let the Pharisees go unchecked. So he had to remind them quite aggressively. That's why the scene in the temple. And then Peter he told Jesus about what happened to the fig tree. Lord, the fig tree that you curse, it is now withered to you na siya. Pinagalitan mo eh. And now Jesus explains to Peter and the disciples why he did what he did. And this is one of the more beautiful statements of Jesus in the Gospels. 
Jesus tells Peter, have faith in God. Have faith in God because, amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe. Believe that you will receive it and it shall be yours. What is the context of Jesus preaching about faith? The unbelief of the Pharisees, of the religious leaders. They were see he was seeing the religious leaders of his time. Fruitless, barren, faithless. At gusto niyang turuan yung kanyang mga alagad na it must not be with you. It must not be like that with you. Your faith must bear fruit. And your faith must be seen in good actions. And your faith must be seen in true worship, in honoring God. Believe. Believe in your heart because if there is authentic faith in your heart, you can say to this mountain, move and it shall move. Ang pananampalataya mo ay buhay at magkakaroon ng bunga kung ang pananampalatayang ito ay totoo at hindi huwad katulad ng pananampalataya ng mga pariseyo at ng mga punong bayan. When Jesus made a scene in the temple area, the Pharisees, the scribes, the high priest, everyone in the temple, nagalit na sila at napuno na sila, napika na sila kay Jesus. Because Jesus was showing them to their faces what they were doing. Jesus was reminding them what they were not doing. You are supposed to be the bearers of faith to the people, proclaimers of the message of God. You are supposed to be the implementers of the law of Moses, of the law of love. But we can't see it in you. Hindi nakikita ito sa inyo. Katulad kayo ng puno ng egos na hindi namumunga. You're like this fig tree that is fruitless. Your lives are barren. In fact, in, other, uh, in, in, in the other instances that Jesus was having this confrontation with the Pharisees, He would tell them, Para kayong, mga, para kayong mga patay na nasa loob ng mga kabaong at mga libingan. You are like the dead in the whitewashed tombs, you hypocrites. Ganun po siya magsalita sa mga pariseyo. Again, was he angry just because of being angry? No, it was because and it was born out of his passion. For, his king, for the kingdom of the Father, for the proclamation of the love of God to all. And he was particularly angry with the Pharisees because he expected them to be the leaders and the teachers of the people. At yung po siguro ang magandang aral sa atin sa araw na ito. Jesus also expects some fruit from us. In the book of Sirach, in the first reading, that's what the book of Sirach is telling us. The godly men will be remembered, and those who are ungodly will be erased from the face of the earth. Ang sinasabi ni Sirach sa unang pagbasa, na aalala ng mga tao ang mga mabubuti, ang mga makajos, ang may mga iniiwang magandang bakas sa kanilang buhay. But people will not remember the ungodly. And so Jesus wants us to realize today, what kind of faith do we have? Is it a faith that is barren, empty, ampaw? Or is it a faith that is full of life? Is it a faith full of fruits? And how do you know that your faith is fruitful? How do we know that our faith is flourishing? When in our daily disposition, Jesus, or rather, people can see in us the disposition of joy, of gratitude, of kindness, of generosity. A life that is full of faith is a life that is full of life. A faithless life is a fruitless life. So Jesus tells us, believe, have faith. 
today we make this commitment i will believe have faith in god jesus says because once there is faith you can move mountains you can make a difference you can revolutionize revolutionize your life kung ang buhay natin ay paulit-ulit lang isa lang ang ibig sabihin niyan kulang tayo sa pananampalataya kung may pananalig ang isang tao araw-araw may buhay araw-araw may saya may sigla pakitingnan nga ang katabi natin may saya ba? <laughs> may sigla? Kasi kung wala, katulad siya ng punong igos na walang bunga, matutuyo, mamamatay. When you believe, there is life. Once we believe, there is always joy. Life is always different to someone who has faith. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagdalo sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong umaga. Also to our online parishioners, thank you for joining us in our prayer and worship. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered, go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.